Hera Shaheen and today I am going to start introduction about graphs and what is definition of graph and uh, the after that I will give you some important theorems related to graph. First of all, let me tell you what is graph. Graph is collection of vertices and edges. G is collection of vertices and edges. What is vertices? Vertices are the nodes which are denoted by V1, V2, V3, dot 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 Vn and it is denoted by the set of vertices V capital V is the set of vertices of V uh, vertices in the graph and E is the set of edges in the graph E1, E2, E3, dot 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 Vn Okay. What is V and E? V is set of vertices, E is set of edges. Now, what is edge and what is vertices? The nodes or the uh, connecting points between two lines in the graph is known as nodes or vertices. And the lines which connect two nodes, two points, two end points or two nodes or two vertices that is known as, that line is known as edge. Suppose these are two vertices, V I and this is another vertex says J. This is one vertex V I, this is one vertex V J, then this is the edge E K between V I to V J and where E K should belongs to E. E K should belong to E, means E should E K should be present in this set. Because we are assuming that these are the edges present in our graph E1 to EN. Okay. You can have any number of edges in your graph. Now, now we shall see what is V. Uh, v. This is known as mod V means known as order of graph. And mod E is known as size of graph. means number of vertices will tell you the order of your graph and number of edges will tell you the size of graph and one important theorem about the graph theory that is known as hand shaking lemma also that it tells that the sum of degree of all the vertices sum of degree of all the vertices should is equal to twice the number of edges in your graph Degrees 
suppose this is a graph and uh, how we find the degree of any node suppose this is one node v1 this is v2 this is v3 then degree of v1 will be 1 because it has only one edge moving from this node v2 there are two edges incident on v2 so degree of v2 will be 2 degree of v3 will be 1 because there is only one edge incident on v3 degree understand that the edges incident on that node is known as its degree how number of edges in coming out or coming in from that node here because there is no direction is provided that it is coming or out so we will consider it as only one node only one edge okay so the degree of vertex v v1 is 1 degree of vertex v2 is 2 degree of vertex v3 is 1 degree of v1 is 1 degree of v2 is 2 degree of v3 is 1 so sum of this what will be the sum of this uh, degrees 2 3 4 this is equal to 4 now see twice the number of edges how many number of edges are there this is one edge this is one edge 2 when you will it, twice it it will become 4 so see sum of degrees of all vertices is equal to twice the number of edges ok so we will see many examples based on this you just note it down I will erase it and then move on ok you pause the video and note it down Now, we will see one more example about graph. Uh, Let us take a, this graph and suppose these are vertices V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and these are vertices uh, vertex A, B, C, D. So, A is the edge, A is the edge which is joining two vertex V1 and V2. So, V1 and V2 are called adjacent vertex, adjacent vertex for edge A. Okay, V1 and V2 are called adjacent vertex. Here, what are the vertexes? V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 are vertices and A, B, C, D are edges. So, if we want to know what are the vertices which joins, uh, which are connected for by the edge A, we can say that V1 and V2 for B, B2 and V2 and V3, V2 and V3, for C, V3 and V4, for D, V4 and V5. Okay, so here are some terminologies we use generally in graph theory that is adjacent vertices, adjacent edges, self loop, multi edges. Now we shall see what are these. I have just now told you that V1 and V2 are known as adjacent vertex for edge A. So the vertex which joins was joins the edge together that is known as adjacent vertex. And adjacent edges are let's take a one, one example again here. This this edge is common between these two vertex and adjacent edges these and these are called adjacent edges here uh, suppose this is a and b and this is x y z so a and b are adjacent edges for node y ok now, this is adjacent vertex, uh, vertices uh, x and y for edge A and then here, so what we say that here y is common between these two edges is the connecting node between these adjacent edges and here A is the connecting edge between these two adjacent vertices. Now we see self loop, self loop is what? When a edge comes comes out from that edge and goes to the same same vertex when a edge comes out from a vertex 
and come back to again to the same same node. This is node A X suppose, and this is what uh, edge A. When the edge comes back to the same node from where it has gone out, it has come here again. Then this edge is known as self loop. Okay. Or self edge. Now multi edges. What is multi edges? Two vertex can have many edges, and when there are um, more edges, when there are edges more than one, then that type of connection, that type of edges are known as multi edges. Like this. Here you are, you are having two vertex. This is one edge. Suppose you are also having one more edge. You are also having one more edge. Then this type of edges are known as multi edges. Okay. So that's all for today. We'll see more theorems and problems based on these uh, theorems in the next video. Uh, if you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.